Man. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're out here at Canyon Lake, or I'm out here at Canyon Lake. Uh, as you know, we're like I said, we're going up trout fishing this weekend. So we went to the store and bought a bunch of little lures, um, little crankbaits, little jerk baits, little inline spinners, a couple little grubs with underspins. Uh, so I'm out here today. I just want to do a little challenge, see if I can't catch any bass on those micro little lures so we're going to go up the channel here uh, throw them around water temps are in the upper 70s we did have a cold front come through yesterday so there's a lot of dead shot on the water so we're going to see how that affects the fishing uh, but it should be a good day all in all uh, awesome time to be out on the water if you haven't yet watched our video from yesterday to, or for, yeah from yesterday video link is down in the description so make sure you click on that and watch that if you're looking to get into fly fishing and we should have a pretty good day out here in the water so we'll So we came back in here quite a ways down the channel where all these bass were busting these shad for the past couple weeks. And we're going to start out with our little $2 lure that we bought at Walmart. Um, cool looking little jerk bait. Looks like these shad that these fish are chasing. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it actually looks really good. So we're going to start out with that today. Throw it around, see if we can't hook anything. Bass just busted right behind us. So it looks like they still might be on shad. The bad thing is I'm afraid that we're going to get a lot of... If the bluegill are still up after that cold front yesterday, we're going to get a lot of those. But let's throw this thing around and see how it does. First cast with it. I'm trying to move it fast so they don't see what it actually is. I just got this new rod and reel set up for my birthday yesterday. It's a uh, Mojo Bass 6 foot 10 medium light action rod. And I threw a Daiwa RG... 2000 on there see how it does with these little fish or big fish hopefully Hmm. This little guy just ain't getting bit. I'm gonna try something else. All right, next little bait we got tied on to begin with is this little uh, grub underspin here. Let's throw that around and see if we can't get bit on that. See how that looks in the water. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd eat it. let it sink a little bit and then start bringing it in all right I stopped recording and just let it sink and I just picked it up and you got a pretty good sized fish on this little micro lure I mean we got tiny hooks so I'm afraid he's gonna come off but I don't know what we got. He hasn't came up yet, so might not be a bass. We might have snagged something as well. Dang, he's a fighter. Look at that. Might have a catfish on the way he's acting. All 
All I do is cast it out there, add a little bit of a snag in my line. And this guy came up and ate it. Man, yeah, I don't know what we got here. Pretty sure it might be a catfish though. I think it might be coming up. I hope that wasn't it that just jumped over there. But to be honest with you, it might have been. What do we got here, people? Mine's got to be a catfish or something, the way it's staying down. Look at there, it's a 10 pound freaking bass. Or I hooked a carp. It's just pulling me. It's just pulling me wherever it wants to go. I can't stop it. Whatever it is. There's a good chance we're not going to see what this fish is. Oh my gosh. This is a fight and a half. It's got to be a carp. Or a cat. Looks like it might be coming up, maybe. Come on, whatever you are. I'm gonna let you go. Man. This fish is fighting. I must have snagged something. No, it's a giant cat. They're a good sized cat. Look at this. So, first fish of the micro lure challenge. Oh my gosh, it's a big old cat. And he ate it. Oh, did he eat it? I mean, look at that guy. Yeah, it's, I think my, my lure is down his throat. I don't know if you guys can see that, but jeez. I mean, he ate it. Good lord. I don't know if I'm going to get that lure back. Look at that fish. I mean, look at that thing. Look at that. Alright, let's get him back in the water. And there he goes. Oh, first fish of the micro lure challenge, and I hooked my foot. Oh man, how about that? Oh, yeah. Not what we're looking for, but that was a fight and a half. Whew. Gotta take a second to think about what just happened. I mean, that catfish ate that lure. I mean, like, look how small that thing is. I didn't even weigh him, but that had to be a good eight, nine pounds. Maybe bigger. I mean, on that, that new rod setup I was just telling you about, I'm all tangled up on now. 
Whoa wee. Well, the rod will handle some bigger fish. I need to take a second and have a breather on that one. Whew, we're gonna move on. Try to recuperate after that and see if we can't find some more fish. So we put on this little Berkeley flick shad in a little rainbow trout pattern as we come back in here. I'm gonna give it a go, see what it looks like in the water. I think it's just standing a little crankbait, so we're just gonna throw it around like that and just slowly reel it in. Oh, he's got a bite. Oh, we got a fish. Look at that. Oh, he came off. Those little bass. I'm just slow rolling this thing, giving it a couple pops once in a while. Oh, and we got a fish on. Oh, it's a little bluegill. I mean, he hammered it. Look at that. Little bluegill on the little Berkeley flick shed. All right, there we go. We're going after bass today. We've caught every other species but bass. So, let's keep going. Let's throw this thing around some more, see what happens, I guess. Oh, and we got one. We got one on the understand. Tiny hooks. Whoa. That's not a bad sized fish at all there. Come on, little guy. Alright, you're done. Nope, he's not done. Now are you done? Nope, not done. Done. All right, look at that. On the little micro spin. Look at that guy. Not a bad fish. Let him go. I don't know if you can see in the water down there, but there are some giants sitting in there. All right, let's see if we can't catch some more. All right, we're going to throw... Nice bright one here at these fish and see what they do. They say inline spinners will catch any species of fish that swims, so let's find out. Quite a few followers on that first cast. No takers. Oh, we got something. Fish on. Oh, it's a big old gill. Jeez. Look at that guy on the on the little inline spinner. I guess they do catch everything. He came up and just hammered it. I'm probably gonna have to get the clippers or the pliers for this guy. Whew. All right, 
There's fish jumping. I wonder if they hit this under or this inline spinner. All right, so I know it's not the same, but we put on a little drop shot setup with a tiny little, I think it's a Big Bites Moneymaker. Me and Kimberly killed him at Bartlett Lake last year with these things. I think on our first or second trip out in the kayak. So let's give it a shot. I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully we catch some fish. I mean, that's the goal of being out here, right? Or just enjoying nature, you know. If you want to be like that. There's a little bass chasing stuff over there. There's a lot of fish marking on the, on the bottom over here. There we go. There we go. I don't know what we got. Staying down. Oh, we got a nice sized bass. Got to put the micro fishing. Look at that. Nice size little bass. It's barely hooked. Maybe hooked better than I thought. There you go. Here we go. All right, right up against those rocks. Let's call it a day. Hopefully, we can get back to the ramp with this wind. Just leaving the lake now. Still can't believe that catfish on that little tiny lure. That was insane. I was hoping it was like a 10 pound bass, but a 10 pound catfish on light rod. Still just as fun. Had an awesome day, completed the challenge, caught caught bass on uh, a couple of the small lures, caught a, you know that little bluegill and that big catfish, and then, you know, those big bass are back in there, so we gotta go after those. It wouldn't be right if we didn't. Thanks for everybody for watching. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, tell your friends and family about us. We've got another cool video coming up. Probably not gonna post again until Monday, just being we're going to be up north, not going to have uh, very good coverage up there. We'll see how it goes. But thanks again, everybody, and you guys have a great weekend.